Well, welcome back everyone to Final Fantasy XIV Online with Shale Firewisp. Shale is taking us through what you could expect in an Uldan start uh, for a character starting out in Uldar. She will also be the one who takes us through the Thaumaturge progression. That's what we'll mostly see her for. In the meantime, we're up to Zuzameda. Way down in the hole, Zuzameda wishes to share with you a most amazing rumour. Ah, the altruistic adventurer. I was hoping we'd bump into each other. Why? Because the most fascinating piece of news recently reached my ears. I am eager to share it. May I? Rumour has it that there is a vast untapped vein of ore beneath the ruins of Sildi. But that is not at all. Inconceivably, the concern appears to be entirely ignorant of its existence. And even as we speak, a young upstart, a self-made merchant from Stone's Throw of all places, is moving to claim it. The fellow's name is Weistern. And he is a very, very ambitious young man. Not only does he intend to secure exclusive excavation rights, but they say his master plan is to use his new fortune to curry favour with the Sacrarium. Of course, the Thaumaturges only consider the opinions of the most wealthy when drafting the laws of Uldar. If you would have your voice heard, you must be prepared to pay a sultan's ransom. One voice, which is invariably heard, belongs to Lord Lolorito. He has long lavished gill upon the Thaumaturges, and some claim that he devises new laws with the express intention of run ruining his competitors or protecting his own interests. Suffice it to say, if Weistein thinks he can compete with the likes of the Syndicate, he's in for a rude awakening, but that eventuality may yet be a little way off. For the present, he is moving ahead with his plans and assembling a team to survey the site. I'm told he's at the Coffer and Coffin right now, recruiting able-bodied adventurers to escort his prospectors. Warren said you were looking for work. Mayhap you should meet Weistan and volunteer for his expedition. I can go and do that. The coffer and coffin, you say? Well, as long as it doesn't end up putting me in a coffin, we're good. Alrighty. Weiston. Come to join? Sorry, but you're too late. Some brass blades looking for extra coin volunteered and the team's already en route to the ruins. But look, I know it's not easy to find work these days. If you're interested, there's something else you can do for me. There are these children outside, little ones from Stone's Throw. I look after them when I've time to spare and they've taken to following me around even when I tell them not to. But what with overseeing the search for the vein, I barely have a chance to visit the privy at the moment, much less entertain younglings. Can you give them these ginger cookies and convince them to go home for me? Uh, sure. Ginger cookies for the kiddos. I gotcha. Oh, hello. Hi. I like playing with Weston. He makes sure no one bullies us. Uh, and he sent you a ginger cookie. Weston's worried about us. Oh, I don't want to make him worried. I'm a good girl, so I'll go home. Nice. Uh, all right. Hey. Ain't going nowhere, missus. I'm too hungry to move. Besides, so you, so you have to carry me. Uh, well, how about a ginger cookie? A cookie? Well, if Weiston really wants me to go home, then all right. But I want two next time. Well, he's, um, he's learning quick, isn't he? All right, little one. But Weiston always plays with us. Why won't he come out and play? Uh, he says he's sorry and have a cookie. Wow, a ginger cookie! I better save some for my brother. Oh, I know, I'll go home and eat it with him. Aww. Uh, right, now you. Weiston's kind to us. I like him. And he gave you a cookie. This is for me. I want to eat it, but then again I don't, because then it'll be gone. Tell Weston thanks, and tell him I'm sorry for getting in the way. Oh, these little mites. They're so... So funny, kids. Kids are funny. Weston. Thank you, adventurer. I only wish I could do more. Stone Star is no place for a child. Not that my child is much happier. Never enough food to go around, nor enough work to earn it, but no shortage of contempt from the great and the good. 
I remember thinking things could only get better. Yet now, after the calamity and everything else, for us refugees to be forced to live outside the gates like bloody beast men is a disgrace. They say with enough money you can change the laws here. So I'm going to make a fortune and do just that. I'll buy the excavation rights and start my own mining business. Then I'll give my fellow refugees the work they're crying out for and pay them fairly. The mining companies have profited from our suffering for too long, but in their hubris they've grown complacent, presenting us with a golden opportunity. And we will take it, adventurer. We'll claim our dignity and with it our place within those walls. We found it. We found the vein, Weston. You must come and see. Already? Amazing. We'll leave at once. You should join me, my friend. Come and bear witness to history in the making. Uh, Weston. I have a bad feeling about this. Mind you, I also have a bad feeling about survivor rats. Um, so. I know, I really badly want to go and beat these. There they are. Let's, um, let's make short work of this fate. Earn ourselves a little extra gill. And a little extra XP. Let's not pick on the hammer beak that we don't need to have a fight with. I'm just making sure I'm checking up here to make sure that we um that I don't accidentally pick on that hammer beak. Whoops. I think they, they're onto me now. Alright, I did forget to switch over. And so my MP ran out. Never a good thing. We'll stick with cold for a bit just to build our MP back up. there. Another chicken. Let's go three. And it'll give us that. I know they sound so cute, don't they? And then they hit you with a wing clap. And it's like suddenly they're not that cute anymore. Okay, we're down to 5,200 or halfway down our MP, so we're going to have to pay attention to that. Let's switch over to ice. And we'll hit them with some lightning as well. I think that one gets to live another day. All right, level six hammer beaks. We're only six levels above them. If they see us, they probably will chase us. That's okay. Let's go and finish this quest. Uh, make sure we're not about to jump off. A oh yeah, let's not jump off that. That could get painful. Hmm, looks like there's another fate down here. We're, we're of a level. Okay, we can avoid the fate. Let's avoid that one. Because we're of a level where it, where it will automatically join us if we're not careful. Weiston, you uh, look like you're in trouble. Hey, you alright, buddy? Level 13. Uh, what level are we? 12. Well, this will be interesting. We'll see how we go. That's balls, son. A vein of ore in the middle of a ruined bloody city. God's damned idiot. What do you think was going to happen? That you strike it rich and get cosy with the order while the masters of Uldar looked on? No one crosses the syndicate. The syndicate? Ah, finally sunk in, has it? Uh-oh. Well, look at this. Not all your friends have deserted you, it seems. Lucky boy. Now you won't have to die alone. All right, no, you're not. 
O mournful voice of creation, grant ye this humble stone a soul that it may wake to life. Oh, this can't be good. Who's that spouting gibberish? Show yourself. Uh. Not incredibly good. This ain't part of the plan. Bloody hell, says Lord Lorito. Means to kill us too. Oh, I'd run if I were you, mate. That does not look friendly. Okay. Where'd it go? There it is. It's like I'm right here. We're going to hit it with a five as soon as we can. I don't know what seven does. It looks exciting. Oh, that's possibly not my best ever bit. Do I have any healing with this character? Right, I need to kind of maybe look after myself then. Let's go with a three. Let's go with a four. Let's go with a two. Another two. Just watch our health, because now would be an incredibly bad time to run out. Let's go with a three and a four. So I like that storm thing. It gives us an extra uh, little bit of oomph. All right, looks like we're back. Whoops, let's not stand there. Hit him with that. I'm going to go over this way and keep him away from Weiston um, so that he doesn't kill the guy with a, when he's trying to kill me. Uh, yep. I think we need to hit it over to a three, hit it with a four. Ow, that hurt. Come here, big bad golem thing. We're on cold. I think we should be able to take him. Yes, we took him on the cold. That's good. Okay, we've finished our duty. Let's uh, check in with Weistan. Oh. That the golem could be vanquished. That woman is no ordinary adventurer. Uh-oh. Well, congratulations, Shael. You seem to have gotten his attention. Thancred, fancy meeting you here. Damn, seems I've missed all the fun. I see you didn't need my help this time. Oh, man, you had the worst effect on me. I will compose a ballad in your honour, but I fear no words would do you justice. The songstress of Ulda herself could not rival your beauty. Oh, do stop it. I've oft heard it said that a blossom's beauty can move a man to love and long, but I never truly believed it until I met you two desert roses. I hear they attacked another caravan. Aye, and business is suffering for it, bloody Amalja. What stirred him up, do you reckon? Another raid, and I'll wager that caravan was carrying crystals, much like the last. If they truly mean to summon a primal, we must act quickly. Are you coming, love? You wouldn't keep a girl waiting, would you? Perish the thought. So tell me, where in this marvel of a city might you lovely ladies be staying? <laughs> well, thank Red. At this rate, grain will soon be more precious than gold. A result of the uncommonly bad harvest, to be sure. And we have you to thank for them, do we not? Aye, this weakening of the etheric flow must surely be linked to Dullamud's descent. And of course to the primals. A fine mess, but we must not lose hope. Louis Soir will know what to do. We need only trust in his judgment.
truly a marvel of Chalet ingenuity, it's as if I could reach out and touch the ether. Time to focus. No more gallivanting about like before. The scions are counting on you. Have faith. Just have faith. You can do this. Hmm. This disturbance is recent. The Sultan Tree? Maybe Papa Shan will know something of it. Looks like they gave you quite a thrashing. Can you walk? It's me. I was too late. Our person of interest had already quit the scene. The general? Very well. I shall be there anon. My colleagues went to great lengths to provide me with the means to detect the etheric disturbances, but every time I find one, you seem to be in the middle of it. I'm starting to wonder if it might not be simpler just to follow you around. Sadly, I have business elsewhere. Tread softly, my friend. The carefully laid trap you dismantled was clearly sanctioned by Lord Lollorito. I heard the blades mention him as they fled. Believe me when I tell you that he is not a man to be trifled with. The Sultana's enemies grow bolder by the day. I suspect they have the support of outside forces. Thank you. If you hadn't come along, those bastards would surely have slaughtered us all. I would speak with you further, but it isn't safe for us to linger here. Find me at the coffer and coffin later. Until then, stay safe. I shall accompany Wyston and his men. They need protection, and I need more information. Ah, but where are my manners? I have yet to properly introduce myself. I am Thancred, a humble scholar surveying the flow of ether in Thanlan. It is an honour and a privilege to make your acquaintance. I hope when next we meet, it is under more auspicious circumstances. Farewell. And then you walk off and you leave me in the middle of the desert. Oh, wait a minute. What? Manners cross your mind? Ah, wait a moment. It occurs to me that we may have... Hmm, never mind. Fare thee well. Well, well. Let's go and uh, speak to Wyston. If we can get past these Spriggan grave robbers without getting turned into ground adventurer. Squished adventurer. Or, you know, being rocked to sleep permanently. Wyston. Twelve bless you, my friend. You risked your life to save ours, betrayed by my own guards. Gods, I was a fool to trust those men. Lollorito owns the gods' damn brass blades. I should have questioned their motives from the start. Even so, I could hardly have predicted that the wealthiest man in Uldar would wait want me dead for the heinous crime of seeking to change the law. I'm just a merchant, for God's sake. That ruthless bastard. And what of that monstrosity? Those were his own men. It beggars belief. Well, that's it, I'm finished. If I stay in Uldar any longer, I'm as good as dead. 
My associates, my friends, God, even the children may not be safe if I don't disappear. And you, God damn it. If Lolorito learns of your involvement, you'll be next. I'll speak with the others and make sure your part in this stays secret. Beyond that, I don't know what to suggest. Maybe you should seek the counsel of Mistress Mamodi. She's helped with countless adventurers in her time. Mayhap she'll know what to do. Go quickly now, my friend. Lolorito's spies may be watching. Oh, well, okay. Speak with Mamodi in Uldar. I think we're attuned. Let's just zip the Uldar our way that way while we still have some coin to do it with. It would be cheaper to run there, to be honest, but that's okay. We're going to grab this etherite, access the ethernet, find the adventurer's guild. Have we not unlocked all? Oh dear, dear lord, we have not because we can't access the gates either. Very well, we're going to need to do a run through the city and uh, unlock all of those etherites. Perhaps not now though, perhaps we'll just finish off this adventure and see how we go. Mamodi. I don't know what it is with my characters all jumping on chairs. Settle down, Shael. You've got nothing to worry about. No one seems to know you were at the ruins. Weisted, on the other hand, is now a pariah. That was welcome round here as a rabid wolf, poor bugger. Suffice to say, that boy risked the wrath of the wrong man. Lord Lolorito, chairman of the East Aldenar Trading Company, generous contributor to the Order of Naldal and member of the Syndicate. Didn't get where he is by leaving loose ends, that one. Which is why he ain't above killing his own men. Hells, even if those blades knew what was coming, it's not like they could refuse to do their benefactors bidden. <sighs> Don't let this colour your view of all, Darshael. It's true that there are some there, here who ain't afraid to crack a few skulls if it gets them what they want, but most of us are decent folk just trying to make ends meet. You know, a lot of people would call you a damn fool for risking your life to save a marked man. But I believe he did a good thing, Shael, and for that you have my respect. Listen, you've been through a lot lately. Why don't you rest a spell? I have a word with the hourglass. Set you up with a room, my tree. Just have a word with the topa, put, put topa whenever you feel like staying. In rooms are now available. And when you've got your appetite for adventure and back, consider taking on a guild level two. We have a lot of requests from locals looking to hire adventurers for various jobs. Big good way for you to earn yourself some extra gil. Eustace can tell you more about how the system works, so go and speak with him if you're interested. Guild Labs, now available. All right, and we're done. Oh, she's happy with that, isn't she? You now have access to recommendations. This feature displays a list of quests or duties currently available in your area. The recommendations list can be opened from under duty in the main menu and will also be displayed automatically when you log in. If you find yourself unsure of what to do next, this tool makes it simple to locate activities suitable for your present class and level. Alrighty, so recommendations. This is your character list here. This is your duty list. Click on duty. At the very top you've got recommendations and this is a list that they would recommend you do so that you can level up and get stronger in what you are, unlock a few things and so on and so forth. But guys, on that note, I am going to leave you. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit like. And if you'd like to see more, please hit subscribe. And I'll check you later. Take care out there.